Okay guys, it's Sunday again, and I'm out with my trusty dog, and there he is, my trusty dog Zeus. What's up, bud? And my trusty old Canon 7D. And I'm doing some more time-lapse photography here. I'll give you a shot of what I'm trying to capture here. Um, it looked like these big white uh, cumulonimbus clouds were building up over uh, the hilltop there. But it, now that I got this set up and started, it looks like they're kind of moving uh, uh, cross what would be cross the uh, camera lens, not uh, towards it end up, which uh, a slight miscalculation on my part. Uh, this should still look pretty badass nonetheless. Um, for those of you interested in time-lapse photography, let me show you here. I've got a... And your lens really doesn't matter. Um, I do a lot of time-lapse uh, videos, slow-mo videos, uh, using a, a 50 millimeter and even a 200 millimeter lens, uh, especially clouds. I like look, getting right in the clouds and getting the uh, the movement of these big uh, cumulonimbus clouds uh, down. But uh, right now I'm using a, a semi wide wide angle uh, Sigma 18 to 35 uh, art lens um, attached to a Canon 70 body, and then I just have uh, you know a standard. Uh, but high quality um, ball head mount or tripod. Um, your tripod is important. You don't want to buy a piece of plastic from uh, from Walmart, uh, especially if you've just sunk, you know, five, seven, a thousand dollars into a camera, and then God knows how much into a lens. Don't buy a shitty Walmart or Amazon or eBay uh, tripod, you'll regret it. Um, but then I have uh, what makes this possible, and there's a few different ways you can go about doing this. You can use uh, an intervoltometer like I'm using here. I picked this up on eBay for like five bucks, literally. Uh, they break fairly easily. Uh, no, nine times out of ten, uh, you get a break in the cable itself and it'll stop working. But, uh, you know, it's a throwaway item. It's better than spending, you know, it was $200 on a Canon. Um, something like that there, the, you know, quality really doesn't uh, matter too much. I got a backup in my, my backpack, so if that one takes a shit, I get another one ready. Um, but uh, I've got this set, it should be set to, uh, to manual. Um, I screwed up there. I got it to auto aperture, set to auto aperture. It should be set to manual. Um, and for this, I'm using the highest f-stop uh, that I can set this lens to, um, which is 16. Um, and it looks like it's, uh, I have my ISO set to 100. Um, I always like to shoot at the lowest ISO possible. I don't care how good cameras have, have become, um, how uh, how well they they handle uh, higher ISOs. I, I really I really just prefer to shoot at the low the lowest ISO possible. So in the middle of the afternoon here with the sun out, I'm shooting uh, with an ISO of 100. Um, F-stop 16, and it looks like the auto aperture is shooting at about one uh, 160th of a second. Okay. Um, white balance set to uh, just set to uh, sunny. I'm going to show you something else here. You may consider buying, and the only reason this uh, I'm going to give you this tip here, and the only reason. Um, I, think I figured this out was I have a Canon 70D that's full spectrum 
um, that I needed an IR cut filter to uh, do video work. So I ordered a 72 millimeter IR cut filter filter for this lens to use on the camera 70D body. Um, as you can see there, she has like reddish. Well, this uh, 70 is not modified, so it has the manufacturer's cut filter on it. Um, but with the the addition of this uh, Hoya UV IR cut filter, I've noticed uh, this camera takes much better photos. They're higher contrast, uh, the colors are better, um, and the photos seem more crisp and clear. So I don't know if that's because, you know, Canon's uh, OEM uh, IR cut filter uh, cuts out at a lower uh, bandwidth and it lets uh, stray IR UV light in and this filter is knocking the rest of it out. I don't know what the deal is. Um, it's, probably what, um, it's probably the deal though. Uh, but it works really well on a not modified camera, believe it or not. So I'll take uh, some done taking photos here. Um, I'm gonna take this camera home and boy are you hot bud and uh, process the images and I've been